Oh, I forgot to fade. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, now fading. What's up everyone? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you guys are doing awesome. How's everyone doing? Sark, stupid bullets, I see. Welcome, looks like you're a first timer. Welcome to our stream. How's everyone doing? So today we have something quite special. You're a very elongate PCB. Really hard to see, hold on. There we go. So this is one, this is a sample of the PCBs that are going to be shipped to the elongate guys. Uh, it's very hard to grasp them on camera though. Okay, this looks better. Uh, quite a nice PCB, honestly. I quite like it. And, uh, well, as you guys have known, uh, Elongate has suffered from some delays, as with lots of projects. Um, so what we're gonna do today is the firmware. Uh, I told 159, just send me samples, and let's make this work. And that's what we are doing today. Everyone have any questions? I think I have a former already done. Let's see. If anything goes wrong, we have Zark here with us. What's up, Gondo? Just fine, my dude. How about you? Hope you're doing awesome. Um, yeah, we might need to grab an LED to check the to check the indicators. Looks like we're fine, though. Start right away, shall we? Let's go. So let's do some firmware work, shall we? Uh, first, we delete this. Uh, I to see this is FO seven two, so we don't need this. Dot H. Uh, also don't need this, also don't need this, so let's do something. No, G, awesome. Should work. What's up, Gondo? Just fine, my dude. Just fine. What about you? How is everyone doing? Hope everyone is doing awesome. Let me get this a little bit. Okay. Hope everyone is doing awesome. Let's put this here. Looks better. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This looks fine. Dot C. Okay, so dot C is where we set the indicators, right? Config.h. So we have the LED. Uh, indicators here, right? This we ha this is where we set them. The problem is that I don't know if all of them are five volt tolerant. This might be a problem. Uh, 
How are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? Talk to me. Talk to me. Lots of people in. Nobody's talking. Talk to me, guys. Talk to me. Uh, PA2. Yeah, so most of those pins are not 5 volt tolerant. TTA 3.3 directly connected to ADC. Yeah. Most of them are not 5 volt tolerant. Uh, PA1. Yeah, PA1 is not, PA2 is not, PA0, I would think it's not 5 volt tolerant. So we will probably have to set them just as in and out, pretty much. Um, just set them as push pull. So the idea here being uh, layers, right? So the idea here being this, um, I'm worried out, I see. That is a problem I do, I am sorry to hear that. Uh, elongate has six indicators, right? So you have three uh, around the connector area and we have three more around in between spacebar. This has a split spacebar, but between them you have uh, indicators. So what this is going to do is caps, num, scroll lock indicators and this does layers. This is default, right? As of, of course you guys can uh, configure this in QMK, but the idea here being uh, you can set these as uh, as whatever you'd like, but by default they're coming in uh, layer indicators, right? So whenever you're in default layer, the first guy is going to be bright. When you're in layer one, that's the middle one. In layer two, that's the sec the third, the, the, the bottom one. Uh, is anyone going to use the layer two most? Probably. This is a 50%. This is basically a 40% with a numpad. A 45 slash 50%, that's what this is. So who's sending me messages? Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. In any case, uh, that's that's how they are shipping by default, right? Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, Nice. Uh, then we have uh, the RGBs. The RGBs are done with the SPI driver. CHConf, that's not this, but let's just do this here. Nice. Microcontroller configuration. Use I2C. I have no idea why this is using I2C. It shouldn't. Timer three, that's for the LEDs, right? Let's say PWM A6, that's timer three, awesome. Uh, rules, so boot magic enable, yes please. Mouse key, uh, yeah, extra key, okay. Console, no, sorry. Command enable, no. CPD is indicator, backlight enable, RGB light enable, yes. Uh, okay. Back in early October, your posts that the PCBs were in hand and that the firmware was complete and worked. 
today you posted you're developing firmware. Uh, well, I don't remember exact date, but this PCB has gone through a revision. The Elongated PCB has gone through five revisions. The first one was one that, uh, that Mr. Keeves designed. And uh, let me get this closer to my mouth. Yeah, so the first one was one that Mr. Keeves designed, which totally did not work. Uh, then the, the other one was one that I designed, but it used micro USB. And it worked in a certain sense. Uh, and then me as Mr. Keeps, we designed a, sec a third revision that had everything and worked fine. That one worked fine, and that's the Navy prototype with Solarized Dark that you guys see. Um, however, when this entered public GB, people wanted USB-C, right? So we redesigned it for USB-C and ARM uh, before it used that Mega. The problem was that the USB-C that we used could not fit inside the case. Now, the case itself was designed for micro, for mini USB, I'm sorry, mini USB. And the mini USB connector protrudes a little bit more than the USB-C uh, Korean rope parts that we generally use. So with the common USB-C, it didn't fit inside the case. Not that it didn't fit, it did fit. Uh, but uh, but uh, it, you didn't have clearance enough to uh, enough clearance to get the connector inside the, the case, since the connector was so um, short, the USB connector, the outside USB connector, couldn't you know get in enough. On that PCB, firmware worked and was fine. Uh, this one is the fifth revision. This uses a much more complex and weird um, um, connector. A wood electronic connector and it's lengthy as heck you can see that it, ex it extends like five to six millimeter out um, so uh, the firmware worked on that first USB C revision that's the Delta or the fourth revision of the PCB but this one is a new beast um, so yeah that's what, what we have to do uh, to do this new thing uh, the delays of elongate were not uncalled for uh, there were lots of um, there are lots of, of things that we needed to redesign and redo to make it perfecto. Okay, let's try to compile and see what gives. Looks like it should work. Where's the reset button? Rake Seal is following. What's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Okay. And we have RGB. There it is. Let's go for Via. Yeah, this is effed up because this must be the old one. This is probably the old. Yeah, this is probably the old revision. Yeah, we'll have to redo the V stuff. It is what it is. Let's do that. So, uh, stupid bullets. Did did I clarify your uh, your uh, questions? Well, first of all, let's test the RGB, shall we? So, yeah, RGB works. So I can set the colors that I want. Uh, let's go for Snake Knight. Oh, Knight is always good. There you go. So yeah, for you peeps that bought the Polycarb version. 
You guys are going to love the gate. Not really, but that's fine. Okay, let me try to to uh, let me try to explain better. Elongate went five PCBs. The first PCB was designed by Mr. Keebs, and as a matter of fact, I still have some of them here. They were matte black. They didn't work. The second one was one that I myself designed. This one used Admega, used micro USB. The one that I designed, it was like one of the first PCBs I ever designed for keyboards. They didn't have RGBs. They worked fine, but they didn't have RGBs or lighting. So uh, I designed that, and I designed a third version. The third version used Admega, a mini USB connector, and uh, an Admega microprocessor. It worked fine. It works just fine. The prototypes that we used to uh, to market Elongate, which was um, a polycarbonate and a navy a, a, um, a navy prototype with solarized dark, they used this third revision. The problem is that that third one used a mini USB connector. When Elongate went into public sales, people wanted USB C, and honestly, that's fine. USB C is awesome. Uh, but the thing is we uh, we uh, we had to redesign so you know it went for uh, it went for redesigning and uh, we did a fourth version now the fourth version was a USB uh, was a USB uh, um, C used an arm processor and it worked the problem was the USB connector now we had an issue where the elongate case the elongate was designed for a mini USB connector when we used the USB-C, the connector that we used did not protrude enough so that you could connect the USB connector from outside. It banged against case walls because the connector was too short. So what we had to do is design it a fifth time. Now using this connector here, you can see this connector here is immense. It's huge and it protrudes a lot. You can see it protrudes a lot so that when you put it inside the case, it fits nice you can uh, connect it. Um, so when I said in October that the firmware worked, that was the fourth revision without the, with the old USB-C that did not fit correctly. Uh, so when this new one was received by 150, he sent it to me, right, like yesterday. And uh, that's what we're doing today. We are testing it out. Uh, the VIA, however, the VIA firmware is still a little bit weirdo. So what we're going to do is elongate.h, no, config.h. So we're going to get the... Nice, and now we're going to do the V stuff. So I hope that that uh, I hope that that clarified the problem. Oh damn! I'll have to do it. Won't I? Fuck yes! I have to do it. Damn it! I swear by God, I had it somewhere. Damn it. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to redo it. Uh, in any case, so these are gone. These here are kind of gone. These are gone.
Okay, so uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this does not exist. Twelve. Awesome. Uh, the tab. Now the tab is at one point two five, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Here, see. So these were the prototypes that uh, Felipe, Mr. Keebs, used to uh, use to market it. These used mini B, mini USB. Uh, see, this is the release beta, which used USB uh, mini B. So that's why we had to redesign it. You see, it used a VR, um, uh, it used an EVR uh, microprocessor, and there you go. So yeah. So this part is this. This is a 1.25. This is a 175, the header key. This is a two or one and a half. I think this is a one and a half. Or 175, something like that. Let's try 175. So we have Z, X, C, V, B, N, M. Then we have this. And then this key here is a 225. No. 175, I think that's what this is. Oh, this is a 125. Because then it arrives here. Yeah. It's all falling into place. There we go. Come on guys, dance with me. So here we have a one, two, five, one, one, two, five. One, one, two, five, awesome. Then we have a two, two, five space bar. Oh, what the heck? Two, five. Right? Then we have a gap, which I believe is half a unit. Then we have a two, seven, five. Seven, five. Then a one unit. I think this is it. Yep, that's it. Okay, let's go for the keys. So this is zero, zero. Hold on. Uh, elongate via on the land run. Save. Okay, so it only holds 30. This is good to know. Numpad? Yeah, uh, hold on. One, one. There we go. Nice. So this is zero, 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 one. Oh. Okay. Two, oh, three, oh, four, five, oh, six, oh, seven, oh, eight, oh, nine, 
op backspace 789 010 011 it starts from 1 okay so 7 is actually 12 yeah so 012 013 014 then by the way guys i'm looking at the schematics uh, on another screen so that's why i'm going forth and back uh control well keeps intended this as control a uh, caps lock control so that uh when you tap it it's caps lock but when you hold it it's control that's how he meant it uh and we are going to try to keep it that way This is zero zeronis. Yep. So zero one. Oops, it's one zero. One one two three one four one five one six one seven one eight. One nine, one ten, L. Okay, so the enter is not ten, it is actually eleven. One eleven. Then we have one twelve, one thirteen, one fourteen. Then this should be shift. So this is two zero. Then we skip one and go directly to two to Z. Two three, two four, two five, two six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so F N eleven. Okay, and there and there's nothing here. Heck yes, okay. Uh, then we go three, so three zero, three one, three two. Then this guy is three four, because we skip one. Then this guy is three seven. This guy is three nine, because we also skip one again. Then three ten. Three eleven. Three twelve. Three thirteen. Three fourteen. I know this looks crazy, but that's how I wired it because it ended up better on the PCB itself. So this is up. So this is actually four. Heck yes, four eleven. Then four twelve, four thirteen, four fourteen. Nice. Now I have to color the keys, right? As per via documentation, we have to color them. Have you seen a finished case? Uh, the new one, no. As a matter of fact, I didn't get one myself. Uh, fifty. I asked fifty to if there were extras. He, you know, got me one, but I didn't get one myself. I didn't get into the GB. Uh, because I didn't have the money, uh, 50 didn't pay us yet. So, um, uh, by the way, don't take this as a jab on him. It's fine. Um, but I'm gonna get an extra. But uh, this case here that you're seeing on screen, I typed on it. Uh, the polycarbonate one too. Where's the polycarb one with Serica? Serica mm, looks awesome. Uh, but uh, this is a mini USB one. So on this here, using this PCB, not yet, no. I think not even Keeps has. Okay, read the documentation.
Okay, so here we are. This is escape, so we're looking at a 777. I also shoot color anarchy with this. All the mods go CC, right? No. A8. Yep. Spacebar? No, spacebar not. Okay. You. Oh, the arrows also use the darker one. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This doesn't have layout options, but it should be just fine. I think that this via here is going to work fine. It must be all that Gates of Olympus. Oh, the Gates of Olympus. Uh, this is the riddle for the, uh, for the Apollo PCB. Haven't you heard of that? I also should do the riddles for Athena, shouldn't I? Fun stuff. Oh yeah, fun stuff. Heck yes, this song is awesome. Dark Triads by Power Nerd. Okay, I like this. This looks awesome. Let's hear it. Okay, so this VA stuff looks done. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load a JSON file. Download. Save. So, download VIA. Awesome. Okay, let's go. So, uh. So the vendor ID is the same as the Akron projects for 150. Zero X forty five for D. Lighting, I believe that uh, QMK RGB light backlight. I think that this is what this needs. If I remember correctly, matrix rows, we have one, two, three, four, five rows. Columns, we have 14, 15. Backlight, RGB light. Layouts, this has no compatibility, so we can leave it as they are. Uh, key map. I think this is it. Sure does look like it. Let's flash it with this, uh, with the firmware with this in the descriptor here.
So the PCBs are all made, we'll talk about that later. As an auto engineer, what headset are you using? This is an H, uh, uh, HD6XX. I also have a pair of Imperiums, Imperiums and some LCD2s that I use. I am also a fellow audio engineer. Okay, looks like we're in business. Uh, the colors are a little bit weird, I guess. We'll take a look at those. We will take a look at those. In any case, well, lighting looks like it works fine. We'll just have to figure out the um, the indicators and the LEDs. And that's pretty much it. You avoided that question like a champ. We'll talk about that later. There's something going on there. We'll talk about that later. In any case, uh, let's test the matrix. First of all, I'm going to turn off the RGB because it's keep because it's glowing at my face. There we go. No sound. I need sounds. Okay, first row working fine. Okay, looks like we're in business. Mm -hmm. Ha, spacebar. There we go. Okay, works. Now it's just the indicators. This is awesome. Let me grab an LED. For I'm feeling lucky, let's go for blue. Okay, well, lighting control works. Breathing does not. Okay, breathing works. It's gonna be hard to show you guys because this is not a high brightness LED. But I can clearly see it working. There you go, see? So that's breathing. Now let me control off. So I have to uh, 
yeah, it's working a little bit weird because it's inverted, so we'll have to invert the LED logic. But the LED controls seem to work fine. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. See, so yeah, they are quite bright. Awesome. I'm pressing keys with my fingers, I see. There we go. So breathing works fine. There we go. Perfect. Now we have to um, control the indicators. Uh, I just have to see which one is caps lock, which one is not off. Okay. Ow, I can't quite remember which one is caps. I'll have to take a look. Let's see which one is caps lock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Uh, LEDC. Where is LED.C? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, that's not you. That's not you either. We can close this. We can also close this. You guys won't see my SSH keys, not today. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, close you. Okay, uh, so let's see. Uh, LED 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it would appear that LED 2 is caps lock. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. There we go. So, PCBs, um, I am very glad to inform you that this PCB works 100% the way it was intended. 1500 of 15, no, 500 of these were produced without prior prototyping. I was scared shitless and they work first time. Fight me. Holy shit, yeah. Ah, they work fine. God damn it. God fucking damn it. You guys have no idea how desperate I was. Um... Because 50 just went there and produced them. Um, and it's not his fault. He was desperate because the project, you know, was taking so long. But, you know, he trusted me. And I am very glad that he trusted me. But, alas, it works. dude yeah that's an adrenaline discharge right there
yeah guys syndicators work um stupid bullets cheered a thousand deep breath <laughs> thank you so much dude uh i don't know i didn't want to tell you guys this you know it would like it, it would look like i was uh, hyping up something so i didn't want it to look that way but that's what was at stake here um 500 pcbs produced and not a single idea if they worked 100 percent um and what you guys have just seen is a prototype working 100 percent first time thank you so much for the bits uh stupid bullets thank you so so much you guys have no idea the the how i felt about this um but yeah so now you've made some money about this project heck yes uh so yeah i guess that i have a damn it dude god fucking damn it okay so let's test the layer indicators okay which are the bottom ones so this is the let me turn um off so this is layer zero it should be on when you press layer one it turns off now the layer one should be off at layer zero but should turn on at layer one let's see works fine now let's test layer two So this is not on. Okay, so. Nice. Now layer two. Okay, we have a problem. Apparently layer two is on. It shouldn't be. Okay, yeah, there's something going on. Hold on. Four, five, six. Have we tested other layers? Yeah, well, layer two is acting strange. Now, uh, uh, you see, layer one works. So this is layer one, right? So when I go here, layer one, awesome. See? Works fine. Layer 2, on the other hand, is giving us some trouble because it's always on. So there's something going on here with layer 2 that we should try to fix. Alexoto is his following! What's up? How's everyone doing? Did he raid us? He did raid us. Didn't he? God damn it, Alex. How's everyone doing? How are you guys doing? How's the Type KPCB doing, Rando? Just fine. I'm submitting Gok a new revision this week, actually. Uh, the fifth PCB for Type K. It is what it is. Super Switch. Sandra, how are you doing? Hope you're doing awesome. Hope you're doing just awesome. How's everyone doing? What was uh, what was Alex doing before getting here? Doing well. Hope you are too. I'm doing just well. Doing just well. F1. That's F1. Okay. GB review with with Marzia. That's awesome. She's awesome. That's nice. Did they curse a lot? Through the through the the options, how 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 did that go?
You know, maybe... Oops, R4, R5, R6. This is a one. I think that this is a problem. Then this is a one. What have you been up to? It's been a minute. Hasn't it? It has. Ah, uh, what else? Doing PCBs. Oh, let me show you something really, really awesome. Let me just finish this and let me show you guys something that's really awesome. Let me flash this. Let me show you guys this here. Okay, the intro. I forgot to change it back to fade. So, check this out. Ooh, beautiful. So this is the latest addition to the Akron project. This is Athena. This is a universal 10 keyless PCB, solderable. It has all the options, layout options that you would need. It has underglow, it has in-switch LEDs, removable USB-C daughterboard support, uh, RGB daughterboard support, um, and it works with Geonworks keyboards. Probably Geon's gonna sell this, and I quite like it. This is the latest addition. Quite beautiful, if you ask me. I quite like it. So this is what I've been up to. And, uh, you know, Type K, uh, lots of other projects that I'm involved in. That's what I've been doing. So then again, guys, let's check this out. So M02. Yep, that was it. That was it. Now M02 works. Will only Gion be carrying it? It's open source. If anyone wants to sell that and use it, be my guest. So layer two works fine, guys. Let's test layer one. Layer one works. Let's test layer zero. Layer zero works. Hold on, no it does not. Let's see, uh, LED four. Okay, something's going on. Turn off the bottom LEDs. Yeah, I've been hitting the up key. So yeah, it works fine too. There you go. Firmware works fine. So, 500 PCBs made without prototyping that are completely functional. This is overwhelming to say the least. Lighting, let's test this again. So the nice thing about this PCB, guys, is that the indicators, they follow the same brightness as all of the other LEDs. Um, so when you guys uh, adjust the LED brightness here, this also adjusts the indicator, the, the indicator's brightness. So, yeah. Do you know how many were ordered? 500. I think that that was that was, was what, what's ordered. Quick question. I tried to use TG1 to swap layer one last time and it worked. And then when I put TG0 on layer one, 
it won't swap back to zero. Is there a way to fix this? We'll have to read on QMK. Um, the problem is that TG0, TG stands for toggle. TG0 doesn't work because layer zero is also on, is always on. El Lento is following. What's up, my dude? Thank you so much for follow, welcome. Uh, TG0 doesn't work because layer zero is always on. That's the default layer. So what you have to actually do is turn off layer one. If you want to go from layer one to zero, you need to turn layer one off. That's what you need to do. So yeah, uh, my luck for the decade has run out in this project. And we have pretty lights too! Oh, the pretty lights. Blue light. Oh yeah, red light. Green light. Oh yeah. Love that! Okay. Awesome. Well, guys, this is it. PCB works. God damn it. Ah, that's such an adrenaline rush. That's a job well done right there. So, uh, does anyone have questions? Do you guys need anything? Let's document this whole thing, shall we? GRN is following. Thank you so much. Welcome. Oh, sheesh. Gonna stream. That's me. That's me right there. Doing some lame firmer work. Have you considered support for S key say I'll double action help switches on the like the caps lock position for one of your PCBs? To be quite honest, no. I've never got a hold of that. Are you calling QMK lame? QMK is not lame. Writing it, writing firmware is. It's hardware. Hardware is where it's at. I'm an analog engineer. I am so very sorry. I hate firmware. I didn't know your stream. We had like a two hour call last night. Did we? Did we now? That's awesome. So 159 should be able to come out from under the bed and let us know some sort of shipping estimate. Now that the PCB is confirmedly working, we should be fine. Don't worry, I heard firmware too. Yeah, and you're an embedded engineer. You do it for a living. Let's delete this last one. Nice. 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 Awesome. Now for the readme, we will have to rewrite something. Yes, we will. Tell you something. Uh, let me copy one that I did, which was where's. 
Valhalla. No Valhalla, no Valhalla. Let's copy the Hellas. Read me and redo this. How have you guys been doing? Sandra, I remember Sa Sandra is awesome. How has Sandra been doing? PCB available at let's put the link here right Hardware availability. Um, let's see. As of December 2021, the group buy for Elongate was already is already over. And extra sales are pending. Awesome. How to flash? Enter bootloader. Three ways. Hold down the zero zero. On the front of your penis for at least five seconds. It's available. That's escape key at layer one in the default firmware. We will need to make uh, to put this there. So that's layer two. Compile firmware. You can build the default layout firmware for Elongate after setting up by using. Make so let's go. Acron elongate default. After that, uh, after entering the fuse state in your PCB, uh, you can upload, download the binary file generated through a DFU util or a GUI like box. Direct flash PCB after spin. Revision Delta. So, which was the revision sold at the group by publicly? 
at the group by visions alpha and beta were privately advice never ran publicly the elongate PCB is a open open hardware guidelines compliant PCB which files can be found at this github.com dash the Ekron project elongate it's designer and maintainer is gonna land room awesome these will all be flashed before shipping I assume yeah I think so yeah that's uh, 159's realm but I I think so yeah how to flash enter bootloader Okay, the icon docs are wrong. at revision 1.4 paste under which the awesome PCB no sir elongate PCB is published awesome Okay, let's copy this and check how it looks. Oh no, so I don't want this. little there we go open source PCB where is this uh Looks good. Perfect. I am just a little bit weary about the uh, about the configurator. Uh, I'll have to delete this and redo it later. Or will I? Hold on. Oh no, this should work fine. Okay. Well, this is it. Uh, working tested indicators, RGB and matrix. Awesome. Ah! Oh! 
Yeah, this was awesome. So, uh, any more questions? Questions, questions, questions. This is pretty much it, guys. It works 100%. It does what it's supposed to do. I am very happy with this. PCB looks great. I have no complaints. Will you be making a post to confirm in Latem Key? Subscribe. Thank you so much, man. Como está? Está bien, Latem? How are you? Uh, I'm doing just fine, my dude. I'm doing okay. Why are you so cool? Uh, I'm actually not cool because it's hot as heck in here. I wish it was cool right now. I'm not. I need air condition. I need AC. Will you be making a post to confirm private Discord? Of course, I will be going to private Discord telling people, Hey, your PCB works! Yep. Mm hmm I will. Anyone has any questions? More questions, questions, questions. Come on, come on, come on. You know, the PCB does look good. I can't... Mm, I like big butts and I cannot lie. It does look good. Just tuned in. How's everything with the PCB? Works 100%. Indicators work, LEDs work, RGBs work, Matrix works. Ah! So good. Maybe we'll have to tune the default layout, because I remember the Kibs wanted something... Um, yeah, so you see how this works? So, here we go. So, in order to access layer 2, what you guys do is hold space, right? So you have layer 1 here, and layer 2 here. And in order to do layer 2, what happens is, this key here, what it does is, if you tap it, it works as space. If you hold it, it enables layer 2. That's what it does. This is Crowlock. Uh, maybe it would be better if we change this. Let's do that. What should we do this? Should we do caps? Yeah, let's do caps, uh, caps control. So here are the layers, right? Uh, so layer zero is just your normal layer. Layer one is, it does F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, nah, nah, nah. and the ASDF row does 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Uh, uh, and then it doesn't do anything other than that. Uh, layers, layer 2 does reset, so if you tap layer 2 and escape, it goes to, um, ask, maybe it's better we do escape, right, and this goes to tab, hmm, yeah, I guess. So here we go. Chemical firmware gets weird with odd matrixes. Ah, it does, right? It does. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's not really hard to do. Uh, but uh, layers, as they are right now, let me redo the layers here, right? So the way that we wanted it to do was this. Escape, tab, shift, control. Um, this, we want this to do. Yeah, I can't remember what he wanted this to do. I can't remember if this was caps lock or this was caps lock. I'll have to check that. 
But as of now, as of right now, it doesn't have a caps lock, does it? So I think that what we should do is do this, do tab caps lock. Maybe, no. Why does layer 1 have numbers? No idea, that's just how Keeps intended it to be, honestly. Uh, but, you know, it, it really doesn't make sense now that you say it, does it now? Um, you know, let's do that. Let's do caps lock here. So, uh, layer 1 tab does caps lock, okay? Uh, let me remember the key code for caps lock. I believe it's it's seal K. It's KC caps. That's it. And these don't make sense, right? So let's just. Let's just use TRNS, which is transparent. Awesome. So it's caps transparent. Yeah, this looks better, doesn't it? This looks better. Well, yeah, that's it. I think this looks much better. Now, to raise Eprom, we have to do some voodoo here. We'll have to uh, short zero zero. So let's do that. It's shorted and then we connect it. So now this erases Eprom. Let's flash it again. Okay, so this is the default stuff, okay? Uh, this is not what I want it to be. Oh, because I didn't update the VIA one. Ah, asshole. Place. Let's do it again. Hey, Ladam. I don't know if Ladam is still, is still in there. How is the meetup organization going? South American meetup. It's this Sunday. Is that so? Why didn't you why didn't you say? I could have gotten down there. Our first one, a smaller one. Oh, I see.
Okay, looking much better. So, I told you I was going to organize the first one within our server. I did not remember that. I don't, but I mean, that's fine. That's perfect. Just tell me when I should get down there, right? Well, guys, this is it. Firmware works per fucking facto. Let's see how this looks. Okay, yeah, looks good. Looks very good. Any more questions? What is the numpad doing on layer one? Let's see. Nothing really. Just num scroll and caps. That's it. You can program it to do anything you would like. Could add page up and down, etc. Well, since it's a numpad, uh, you can do page up and down in the default firmware. Just turn off scroll lock. Also, page up and down are here, see? Yeah, it's a numpad. It works as a numpad. If scroll lock is on, then... Uh, num lock, I'm sorry. If num lock is on, then it does home, page down, page up, arrows, I guess, too, right? So, yeah. You can configure it as you would like. I need to go. Thanks for this room info. Yeah, um, this is pretty much what I had for today. Uh, 
just the elongate PCB testing, compile flashing. Uh, is there anything that you guys want to see more? Is there are there any questions that you guys want? Stupid bullets, thank you so much for the bits. It really helps the open sourcing stuff. I really need that uh, that help, that extra oomph. Thank you so much, so so much. anyone has more questions this is the time to state them No questions, I guess. Well, this is it, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and riding that roller coaster with me, right? Um, if you guys have anything to ask, if you guys have anything to add, please, please get um, on my server, the Akron Project server, exclamation Discord gets you a link for that. Uh, if you guys wanna help out open sourcing, lay them, uh, like Latham did and Stupid Bullets did, you guys can donate bits, you guys can subscribe, that's awesome. Or if you guys want to donate directly, you guys can exclamation donate, get to a page where you can directly donate to the project. I use that money to prototype PCBs, open source stuff, that kind of deal. No more questions, I guess. Is there anyone on that we can raid? Boards is on. He's doing. Okay, I don't know this keyboard here. Let's raid him, shall we? He's nice. He makes some very nice stuff. Uh, I like him. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone, the raid message. Don't forget that raid message, right? Our official raid message is: I come from Brazil. That's our raid message. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for riding this roller coaster with me. I'll get back to you guys, uh, you know, tomorrow maybe. The future is uncertain, uncertain, right? Thank you guys so freaking much and uh, yeah, I'm out. See ya.